getting started! <laughs> I'm so excited! Oh my god, that's great. <laughs> Hi! Hi, people. I'm Joel. I directed this. Uh, Binbo Gamiga is this. And uh, uh, you guys, I'm gonna make you remember your character names. Marina Palencia, who did you play? Ichiko Sakura. Ah! Colleen Clinkenbeard, who did you play? I played Momiji, the poverty god. And Martha Harms, who did you play? I played Ron Maru. Yes! Very nice! <laughs> well done. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so this is episode eight of Video Commentary. Uh, this is a really fun one. I think it has to do with friendship. You don't oh. say. I think a lot of them have to do with friendship. In the friendship. show? Huh. Yeah, right? Friendship. <laughs> it was interesting because Brina and I had to pretend to like each other for this show. I mean, oh, not yeah, much. It was really not, difficult. Only at the end. Yeah. We got to hate each other you know, status yeah. quo for the mm -hmm. most shows. Fortunately, you guys never recorded at the same time, so I never had That's to deal true. with that. Yeah, yeah. that, that would have so been true awkward. Right. So bad. <laughs> no, I would record in between them, actually, uh -huh. and then they would just talk about each other behind their backs. So. Yeah, well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that I mean, didn't that's happen. That's just a that's Tuesday. Tuesday. That's <laughs> And uh, you got to play Ichiko, the luckiest uh, person in the show, possibly in history. Yeah. Uh, and how do you relate? Um, not at all. No? Really in any way. Um, not physically, emotionally, or anything. <laughs> um, she was awesome, though. I yeah. thought she was really funny. She was funny. Yeah. That's how I related. She was your sense of humor, too, because you yeah. got to right. completely inject your own sense of humor into her. Yeah, definitely. You guys actually both did. Actually, I think all of you got to kind of throw in your own things uh, from time to time. Yeah, it was fun. This was yeah. so fun. This is, I mean, by far one of my favorite characters I've ever yeah, played. Awesome. It was so much fun. And this show in general is just so funny. It reminds yeah. me a lot of School Rumble, which was one of my babies. So, like, that. That's why I think that's why it really hit home for me. Yeah. This nice. is one of the shows that I... I have always wanted to play a character who does a lot of different voices in one yeah. show because yeah. I think that's so much fun to get to go back and forth from voice to voice. So I was sad that it was only 12 episodes or 13, however many it was, because like I wanted to go on yeah. forever and just yeah. keep doing voices. Yeah, Momiji's a big sandbox to play in for an actor. Yes! I, yeah. I was definitely lot. jealous of you so getting to like, play so much because there were a lot of times that I would want to do something crazy and it's like, well, yeah. <laughs> Chico doesn't really get that crazy. Yeah. I would be recording and, and watching what you've already done and, and listening to it. I'd be cracking yeah. up left and yeah, right. Yeah, there were definitely I mean, times that I had to have you muted. Because <laughs> you me laugh oh, yeah, all you good. guys had to do yeah. that at one point, which is funny because you guys yeah. are all typically so pro. Like yeah. we can throw we can throw bombs at you all day, no problem. But like, yeah, you guys think, are cracking each other I up. I think it has a lot to do with the fact that we're all actually friends, and so yes. it's just it's fun to hear what everybody comes up with. Yeah, and that I was hearing you being you, so when, when your character was saying something <laughs> at me that was funny, it was like, that's Brina being funny, but your character was very different, in my yeah. opinion, yes. from you. Really? And, that, and from any, anything I've ever heard you do Yeah, before. But cool. I think for both of you, I've never heard either one of you do a character like that, which is, I, I think, another reason why it was so, so much fun. fun to hear. Yeah. Well, I got a kick out of uh, when we were doing auditions, uh, I actually popped over to Colleen's studio because you were a couple minutes late for your time, and I was like, hey, we're ready. And you are like, oh, I totally forgot. Uh, I haven't looked over the sides, I'll just do it cold. I was like, I want you to read for this girl here. She does a lot of, and you were like, oh. Oh my god, give me 10 minutes. <laughs> I remember that. It out. It like, it's, it's Bugs Bunny. I was yeah. like, I want Bugs Bunny so bad, you have to give me time. Yeah. <laughs> well, and we had so many fun references we got to work in. You got to play Luffy. Uh, I got to play Gohan. Uh, Gohan, yeah. yes. Or yeah. Goku, but that's, yeah. oh my god, so Works awesome. well, yeah. So much fun. Yeah. And you got to play Butch for the first time, right? Have you Was done a Butch yeah. before? You know? um, Kind of. I, I did a little bit. Oh, gosh, I'm blanking on the character names now. I've done a little bit before. I've done kind of like a military role before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like a commanding woman, a very command lead. I've done a lot of business people. Yeah. But, yeah, but yeah. never really. So, like, I've done a lot of, the, like, the lower commanding voices. Yeah. But that's, like, womanly never, commanding. Right. And this was yeah. so male. Like, yeah. to hear, because you have such a sexy voice. Yeah. yeah. And to hear exactly. you go for butch, like, yeah. really take all of the sex out of your voice and just be manly. And that's that's a stretch. And that was Thanks. great. Yeah, it was yeah. impressive. Yeah, I, th I think early on there might have been a few lines at the very beginning where I was like, eh, it's still sounding sexy. Take it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, we worked yeah. on it. We were, sure. definitely worked on it. I'd still do, yeah, you know. <laughs> 
Yeah, try again. But then the cool thing about Ron Maru is that she had that that arc throughout the show, so that it started out really gravelly and mm-hmm. butch, but then it, by the end of the show, she actually is. She's gone through this journey of she's like softened. she's yeah. softened. Yeah. She's made. Well, and then she goes she's, super girly for a second. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. She's had that. Oh, that so was it's funny. The yeah. Well, and at the end of that episode, you know, you show back up at school in your old beat up boy clothes, and you're like, yeah, Dad said I could wear whatever I want, but I'm more comfortable in this. And she's so, a little you know, bit changed on the inside. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, we actually played like some. Brina, our characters had some really touching scenes in this. Yeah, one. yeah, yeah. It, for it real. Kind of surprised me. I remember being like, "Wow, that was actually kind of moving." And yeah, you got that with a bunch of different characters. Actually, I felt like yeah. I was I was moved by no, several there, I mean, conversations. Yeah, I think every episode there was always kind of a, a a moving moment, which is why I think this comedy works so well because it's grounded in emotion like it's grounded in real deep emotion and her actually kind of learning about life and learning about friendship and learning what her priorities should be and what she wants them to be it's a beautiful show it is well lovely. and it's i think it's neat too because at the beginning you're really to- ichiko's totally set up as being not a villain but at least not a not a sympathetic character at all and like so you don't there's not much that's redeeming or really likable about her until several episodes in when you start to kind of get into her backstory and why she's so closed off and how she was kind of messed with when she was a kid and she's become defensive and how she has to learn to care about others and all that so all of a sudden she's not such a bad person anymore but it's really interesting it just blurs the lines between good guys bad guys yeah i love it when stories do that where it where it gives a reason it, it validates why someone is the way that they are and lets them make the change. Makes it more three-dimensional. Exactly. And I like it when stories that are as wacky of comedies as this uh, this is uh, still have some kind of underlying theme that you can at- actually attach any kind of meaning to. Yeah. So if you have too much fortune in your life, then it doesn't build character. We get it. And we yeah. don't need to do, do, well, hammer it over the head. That's, that's exactly. the other thing is that Momiji, like, was, it could, if you just are reading the story, could be totally, you know, the, the, the good guy who's come to, you know, settle the situation and, like, remove the happiness energy and put everything back as it was. You're there to do good, but yeah. you get so much evil joy out of yeah. hurting yeah. Ichigo that, like, I don't know, yeah. it's great. <laughs> mm-hmm. I think you're really good at directing these kind of I, shows, Let's talk though. more about that. <laughs> <laughs> We've really not talked much about me. You're right, you're absolutely yeah. right. What was your favorite part in brilliantly directing the yeah. show? Well, no, no, you know, you're, you, I, I like directing this kind of show too. But I mean, if all of us directors were honest with ourselves, the the hardest part and the part that makes the best shows is casting well. If you can cast well, then you just don't even have to show up to work most days. Just like you guys do that I awesome stuff. Well, if you got these two in your show, then yeah, yeah. They'll do everything. I would say not true at all and plus I mean the thing that makes shows is background characters like like you're saying if yeah. you cast the big characters as people who have done it for years and really understand yeah. it you still have to get all of the background characters to sound like they're in a room with those people right. so yeah. I mean it's you I, are really good at comedy well thank you yes. thank you very much I'm learning I, I did cast myself in this in a smaller character I don't remember which which episode he shows guy? up in. I'm yeah. the poop guy <laughs> I was so excited I got to play Ibuki as soon as I saw it I was like I know who I would usually cast but this is too good. <laughs> I think that's fair, and I think you did a good job. Oh, thank you. Thank mm-hmm. you very much. I've yeah. had one poop god to cast in my life, and that was Jeremy Inman. So you went a different route. Oh, Penny and Stocking, huh? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, nice. yeah. Who nice. would you have cast? He oh, cast I'm him. not saying. I, I did cast me. <laughs> <laughs> Who should I have cast? Who would you cast as a, a poop god? Yeah. <laughs> Who makes you think of poop? <laughs> <laughs> so that we can tell the whole right. world and then show it to them. Yeah. I, I can't answer this question. <laughs> <laughs> Probably for the best. One name's coming to mind, but I don't think it has any actual relevance. I would cast Christopher Sabat. Yeah! Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. <laughs> he would be my poop god every day. <laughs> be proud to hear that. I know he would. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's going to be offended by that at all. No, not, <laughs> not even a little bit. There's no real reason, though. I just, I you think, just want to hear I just think he'd make a good poop god. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, fun note about this scene uh, is the, uh, the the overweight, heavyset girl with the uh, the blonde hair that hangs out with uh, uh, Michelle Rojas and her character. The one who's uh, eating all the time. The one who's eating all the time. That's Leah Clark. She never has any lines. She just eats in the background the whole time. That got, I got so much joy of that. That so made me laugh that so you hard. That. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So put it on her IMDb, please. Yeah. <laughs> it's when she can pimp at conventions. <laughs> yep. Ronda gets so many great background. like uh, like. 
like badass hero role like monologues and like entry scenes and oh, just man. kicking in doors and stuff. It's she awesome. she narrates her yeah. own life. Yeah. <laughs> she walks into a room. It's not even her head. <laughs> she walks in a room and says <laughs> all of her exposition. All of her exposition. Yeah. That's one route to go. So, you know, we had to work on that a little bit. Like, okay, what's the tone of this? <laughs> you, okay, you want me to, to narrate? Okay. All right. Rocked it. This was a screamy day. I remember this one. Yeah, this one was a big one. Wow. This is a pretty screamy show. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, very high energy. Yeah. Did we, did I, I don't think I ever lost my voice. Did you? Mm-mm. Yeah. So I think you were pretty no. gentle in making well, sure we only did two, yeah. three hours. I think we did shorter sessions. Yeah, yeah, I think there was one day where I think we had like a big scream that we had to do, and I was just like, we have to leave that for the end. There's no way I can <laughs> right. do that yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right now. The only thing I think that we're, we're about to do is the songs, which I think is really funny that you get to write the songs, yes, and you're one of the have. best singers I've ever known, and you don't open your mouth to sing this entire no. series. It's like <laughs> Colleen gets a couple. <laughs> which is yeah. highly unfair, just, uh, just for the record. I like <laughs> well, luckily for you, Momiji is a... Very <laughs> for me. Yes. When he told me I had to sing, I was like, "Oh, actually, you said that before the audition." Yeah. And I was like, yeah. I, "It does." I don't. It's I can't really sing. bad. It's so bad. At one point, I had to. Uh, <laughs> she sings part of the theme song, and I didn't even recognize what it was. And then Hardcore told me it was a theme song, and I had to have them send me a copy of the actual theme song so that I could know what the melody and rhythm is supposed to be. So that's that a that lifesaver, though. For somebody who doesn't <laughs> sing, that's a lifesaver. Yeah. <laughs> I. You would be amazed at how many times I've had to sing in anime. Yeah. Really. Yeah, Almost you every really round. Have. Yeah. They're like, really? oh, you're just going to sing for just a little bit. I'm the only non-singer huh. that we yeah, have that's in like, our acting pool. That's like pool. the joke at Funimation. Yeah. It's like, oh, it's a singing role. <laughs> I guess I think Colleen's Colleen's gonna gonna go. Go. <laughs> Except I really do. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's fine. But you're not, I mean, I think, I think you're pretty good. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly have never heard you sing before. There's a reason. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. She's really not that bad. But I Brina, I, I mean, Brina has... The voice of an angel. And, and Martha does. Martha's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Yeah. I haven't yeah. heard much of your singing, but I'm just so jealous. Aww. Yeah, we did a stage musical-ish together. That was one of the last times we that I was totally on stage. Did. Yeah. yeah, you rocked in that. Uh, I was chorus, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> but I sure did mouth the words real big. <laughs> <laughs> you wore that scarf. That's right, yeah. That's good. Theater. Theater. Aww, <laughs> thong on my head. That's amazing. I like that it's never really explained fully. Right. Uh, your little assistant Kuma guy, the teddy bear, mm-hmm. uh, never has a single cue, never speaks, never makes noise. I put myself in the, the credits. In the credits. I love yeah, it. So, I, I want one of those. I do too. Yeah, right? I've never That's really cool. wanted, Stuff. I don't care about plushies very often, but I want one of those. Yeah. yeah. He's awesome. But I guess it would have to, by nature, it would have to be kind of ripped up and like with stuffing yeah. coming up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It would have to look pretty used. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, an emotional scene. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, whoa. Shut up. This is also uh, the first show that we cast uh, Mr. Clifford Chaper- Chapin in. He was very, very excited. He's uh, one of our noobs. He, he did a really good job. But he was very excited. He was. Uh, um, Suabuki, the love interest. Oh, yeah. Dude. yeah that's right. I still have yet to meet him in person. Oh, yeah. I've heard a lot about him and I see his name on a lot of cast cast lists or whatever. Sure. So he, it seems like he's been getting getting some steady yeah. work. No, he's been he's been doing doing oh, some good yeah. work. We uh we actually he swung by uh we did a little mini con at a library recently and Micah Solosad and Afia Yu uh, and Clifford Chapin all came out to like talk to the kids and sign autographs, but it was really funny because when he had to introduce himself, he was like, My name's Clifford Chapin, I'm a voice actor. I haven't done anything I can tell you about. <laughs> <laughs> they were really uninterested in getting just started. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. breaking into it. But then Micah yet. played Soul, so like, yeah, they were. Oh, they were oh, happy no. to see one person. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a total bust. The rest of us ceased to exist. It was really cute. I remember those days at the beginnings of convention when I had only played a Claire in Kitty Grade, and that was it. And it was me and Monica Rial and Chris Sabat. Oh my god! I think two conventions in a row. It was that lineup, and it would be me playing tic tac toe with people in my line because there's two who were willing to hang out with me, and then Monica and Sabat would have lines out the door uh, for their yeah. uh, autographs. <laughs> every time I do a convention with Sabat, inevitably, every time, someone asks me if I'm his assistant. <laughs> oh. That happened, my first con that I ever really? went to. Yes. I, I, Still to this day. 
I went to SoccerCon years ago. Was my first convention with with Tatum, and I was sitting next to Tatum at our autograph signing. And people would like no one ever questioned that I was his his liaison. They would just come up and ask me like, you know, is he going to sign multiple things? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, what do you say now? Do you say yes? Just uh, or, or do you correct them? Usually Chris corrects them before I have a chance to correct them. That would them. be fun, yeah. though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just right. say yes and then guarantee him at a party later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He'd love to stop by your hotel room. Yeah. That's yeah. Thank you. Yeah, sure. I'll just take I'll just take all that money. Yeah, I'll yeah. take a stipend. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> yeah, this is our little flashback that shows why Ichiko is so Oh. I don't off think I've people. seen this. It's a really good scene. Yeah, like uh, um, her best friend back in the day was little bitty Jade Saxton, and she just totally got screwed over because of a boy. Oh. The boy, I believe, was Terry Doty. I believe you guys were fighting over yes, Terry's affection. Yes, it was affection, Terry Doty. So that's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like <Or> Terry. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was in love with her. Yep. Wow. As a boy <laughs> on and <an> anime. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Teeth. I love how the animation style will change so dramatically, yeah. like just whenever it gets in these big crazy scenes. It's fun. You care about others and that now we just want to watch. I remember yeah, when, yeah, I know. I'm getting sucked in. I remember when Colleen and I had the same conversation. <clears throat> you care about others and that is okay. <laughs> <laughs> Acting. And then I injected you with this <laughs> yeah, giant it was needle. was really awkward. <laughs> I didn't really like get that. it at the time. <laughs> but now, several years later, <laughs> I get it. You were just too fortunate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think That's Bugs, Bugs Bunny was definitely the character uh, that I, I used that I was like telling everybody think Bugs Bunny because like I've never seen a, a female character that changes costumes constantly yeah, yeah. and voices and styles. That's the difference and, is bo- and fi- male characters do it a lot. Males yeah. get a lot yeah. of opportunity to show that kind of range and female characters you just you, you tend to play one note and sometimes they're three dimensional characters who have a full arc but a lot of time it's just one note all the way through and this one had lots of female characters with lots of arc, and right. it was yeah. awesome. Right. It's, a, it's a really powerful <clears throat> female cast. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, uh, this, is this is one of this is one of my favorite lines of yours, and I don't know why, but when she introduces her the monkey that she's there with, and you like notice the monkey, uh, the, the the line is that is one cute monkey. But how is that? <laughs> it's just this total removal from the scene of okay, yeah, I had, I will acknowledge that, that is an adorable monkey. Oh yeah, that's like the one girly thing about you is that you're really intense about yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's yes. right. I had so much fun recording that stuff. We're yeah. playing for I little like kittens. Yeah. Little animal things. She's my, all my animal things. Really cute. <laughs> my spirit animals. Yes, and whenever yes. they go, when they're li- the like, chibis, yes, yeah. the little chibi ones. It's like a little and, My Little Pony one. And the thing I noticed was whenever it flashes back to her, like a uh, little Ichiko when she's in her bedroom, she has stuffed animals. Yeah, that are on those her animals. Bed, yeah. It's yeah. so cute. <laughs> that was the reason you picked them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? 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 This, is, see. this is the one, I think. This is the oh, yeah. the, oh, the intensely really emotional and I, scene. Yeah. When we become friends. Yeah, Ish. like I have to convince you to be my friend. <laughs> yeah, and then I don't really comply. <laughs> I'm like, kind of. Because then, like, uh, the, it's, so, it's still more episodes before I think I'm finally like. Right. It takes some, actually some convincing. For real, like, you're really my friend. Mm-hmm. Like, squint one eye. Yeah. Like you're really nice. You're really <laughs> I love I love the lighting in in scenes like this. I think it's really neat. It's really cool, artistic. Like it, yeah. it looks great. Yeah. I will say, recording it when you actually have to match the mouth movements and they're all in this very artistic shadow. It's like God. But, <laughs> Where's the flaps? That is a neat looking show. I like the art in this one. It's really pretty. Uh, yeah. Did you find that because because of the comedy, you had more improv? There was definitely like I well. I always try to be collaborative in that, like, you know, if the actor has an idea they want to try out, we always have time to try it out. But, like, and so we we did that with comedy as well. Of course, you know, with with an anime, you have to be mindful of the flaps and the timing and all that kind of stuff. And so much of comedy is timing. You know, so there was room for improvisation that would kind of 
sent us in maybe different directions, but as far as like improvising a line, it almost never happened. I will say, Clifford, uh, on one of his first sessions, I told him, I was like, you know, I, I want you, if you have an idea, I want you to talk to me about it. Now, he kind of took it and ran with it for a little while to where I was like, I might have to <laughs> rein this dude in because he's got all these ideas. But at one point, uh, it was uh, Momiji and Suobuki splitting up cash after they had like gotten the, um, uh, Ranmaru and uh, Ichiko to fight in the school gym. And they had like been making bets on it and everything. They were being bookies and they were counting up cash and and his line was, and Momiji asked, how much did we get? And he says, well, it's um, more than 10,000. And then we kind of moved on, and a couple lines later, he's like, oh, can we no. go back to this one? And I was like, <laughs> all right, fine. And he did over 9,000. And it was, oh, I was like, oh, you're funny. Look at you being funny. And so, yeah. Is that in there? Yeah, it's in yeah. there, yeah. It's pretty funny. funny. He was so proud of that. He's actually, I think he's probably mentioned it every subsequent session. He's uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's really Remember excited. that one time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's adorable. Yeah. So that's fun. That's really, I love yeah. that we can get to, to do stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I yeah. don't think I rewrote any lines that I wrote. <laughs> well, but you guys also, like, have been doing this long enough and we're, we're comfortable enough in your characters to just really give the lines your own flair as they were written. And right. so, you know, you made them your own, even I if you I think that's how you do around. humor in anime. I think yeah. you're right. Not everybody does it that way. I, Jamie will come up with her own lines, yeah. and Monica will do a little bit. But you say things in such weird freaking <laughs> yeah. ways yeah. that all of a sudden a line that was not funny before is now the funniest line in the scene. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which is really quite upsetting if you're playing opposite you, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> you this line funny. was about me changing character and being funny, and I'm not the funny one because Brain is in it. <laughs> I don't think that's true. No, I think you're great. I think, I think you're I great. I think Martha's great. I think Joel is so great. Oh you my God. guys are something. <laughs> I think the word you're looking for is girl. Yeah, pretty yeah. girly. <laughs> yeah, you should maybe just great. leave the room for a while. It's, yeah, so it's we fun. can all cry together. Right. It's going to be great. <laughs> The other thing, though, about the writing is that it was written by Jamie, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Jamie, yeah. Marky is one of our good friends, mm -hmm. and yeah. so she writes the way we would talk anyway. Yeah, That's yeah how I was going to say, there's yeah. so many lines that I... I think there was... I can't remember which one it was. I think there was one line where it was a joke between me and Jamie where you were like, I don't really think that's going to work. And I was like, hang on. Uh, <laughs> she knows what I was going to do. Yeah. Let me read it and they'll get it. <laughs> we He's said like, this okay. like the last girl's night. Yeah. <laughs> I like that your, uh, your, one of your like catchphrases was get out of my house. I yes! love that too. Which is what my husband says <laughs> all the time. <laughs> all the time. Because we, I mean, we have parties at our, at our house a lot. And whenever, and Paul's like, you know, he'll stay up all night but then once he's ready to go to sleep, he's like, get out of my house! <laughs> <laughs> well, it's great, because I was, I, was, I was going through and reviewing it. You probably say it 15 times yeah. throughout the course of the series, but everyone gets bigger and crazier. No two reads are even close to the same. <laughs> like, it's just all over the place. It's really good. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> also, this is the song that I got to do the. Uh, oh, you get to sing? Part. Now, what is this for? It's, no, the, a... you sing the first two lines of this. No. But it, <laughs> I mean, it's unrecognizable. Yo, like, no, I'll say. It's not at all like, like this. this. It's always karaoke style setups, which, like, you know, yeah. you and the boys. I remember that. And, uh, yeah, yeah. I didn't those, remember and... it being this. Oh, you've got to <laughs> yeah. see. You it have is to see. It's technically this. Uh, Todd and Patrick Sites, Todd Habercorn and Patrick Sites have a song as Bobby and Momo. Oh, my God, it's amazing. It's. Really funny. I it's actually been that. stuck in my head for like three weeks. So funny. But they sing this like very kind of sweet, romantic little lilting song about like boobs and how fluffy and heaven like they are. And it's it's delightful. Yeah. It's, you're just gonna <laughs> it's really it. delightful. Yeah. It's just a lovely little ditty. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, this is a fun one. Yeah. I was happy with this one. I was really, really glad I got to work on it. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> Go, go team. I hope there's Good a job. second season. Wouldn't that be neat? Yes. That'd be awesome. Yeah. I would definitely be interested. <laughs> yes. I mean, I'd consider it. <laughs> <laughs> so busy. We'd have to tell you how great you are all the time. Yeah, I mean, that's the only way. It would be my contract. <laughs> got it. <laughs> well, you guys want to say any, uh, you got any last thoughts, any final words for watch our Watch the show! Audience? Yes, yeah. watch the watch show. It, watch tell it, your watch friends. It, watch it, watch it. You should probably watch it. Bye. Yay. <laughs> no, seriously, that's it. Go away. Yeah. Get out of my house! <laughs> also, I want that last frame on a t-shirt. Yeah. Ah. Let's sleeping dog lie. <laughs> <laughs> well, awesome. I think we all learned that a lot. fun.
<laughs> you guys are so good at those.